Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten here, back to create our Java GUI application. So the first thing I'm going to do with IntelliJ is create a new project. In Java, I'm using SDK 11, everything else can stay default. Click Next. This can click Next, you don't need to change anything here. All right, project name, make a GUI. Sounds good to me. Everything else I am keeping as default. Click Finish. And you'll get a screen that looks like this. Okay, if I open up my project folder, I get a source folder like we are used to with Java. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a class for my project. And so I'm going to use gotta make a GUI and person because my, I'm going to have that people object that's going to be a key part of my project. Uh, but I'm going to worry about um, populating this class later. For this first video, we're going to make the GUI. So I'm going to come into my package folder, right? Make sure you don't do this from the source folder, do it from your package folder. Right click new GUI form and this will allow me to make a form. Uh, let's just call it um, screen. <laughs> All right. uh, using a drag and drop system that um, IntelliJ provide for us. All right. So when I open it up, it looks like this, All right, and you'll notice that we also have a class file happening here, public class screen, that's also in our same package that Java, uh, sorry, that IntelliJ has automatically made up. So we have these two different parts. We have the screen, and then we have the class that uh, is attached to that screen. So right now we're gonna focus on using the GUI, so I'll just shut the project window for now to make more space. Uh, and using the grid layout manager right, by IntelliJ, uh, basically we just drag and drop uh, bits and pieces onto our screen where we want them to go. So I'm gonna use J panels to kind of give me a general layout. Uh, you really need to have drawn a full sketch of what you're gonna want your screen to look like ahead of time. Otherwise this can get quite messy quite quickly. So you can see here that as I hover around, uh, the blue box shows me where this is going to drop. All right, so I'm gonna let this drop up the top. All right, so I'm gonna put down a couple of other J panels. All right, so I've got this, these three cells now of J panels. And if I click on them here, we can see that this one is gonna be uh, the panel for the top. This one, you know, we can get, you know, it gives me the dots for the ones that I've got highlighted. So this is the panel for the left, and this is the panel for the right. And that will come in useful because as I drop other items in there, it'll tell me where it's gonna go. All right, we can see there's the pop-up box telling me it's gonna go in panel top. So I'm gonna put in a label. And if I just adjust my screen so you can see this, I'm gonna come down to the text property and call it my contacts project. And then I'm gonna come into my font and click on the little folder icon, I get a window. I'm gonna override the size and make it 24 points. Let's do that. All right, so that's that there. Uh, on the left, all I want is a big list box. So I'm gonna grab a J list, drag and drop it so that it fills up the whole window. And I am going to name it list of list people. Uh, and then this one here on the right is where everything else is going to go. And I'm going to, basically going to be using a bunch of J labels, J text fields, and a couple of buttons. So let's put in some labels. So one, two, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, and then a couple more um, panels. Two, three, Okay, so make sure that you're dropping it in the correct panel. Notice if I just slightly adjust my mouse, it says I'm dropping in J panel, which is the overarching, the overall one. So I want it in panel right, so I'm putting it that way. Uh, and then I'm gonna put in another J panel, another two J panels, because I'm gonna subdivide this left and right. Uh, I'm gonna put a label here, filling up the left, a label here, filling up the right, and then a button in this one filling up the left and a button in this one filling up the right. 
and I need my text fields, and they're going between each of these labels. Did I grab the right one? Yeah, that is a text field, good. It's going to go there, and that one's going to go there. Now, I want to name my properties, uh, the, the elements on my screen as well. So let's come up here in case I've got my panel on the right. The labels, I just need to change the text that appears for them. I don't need to name them unless I'm wanting to change them programmatically because uh, the default names are not a good idea. So I'm just going to put the word name on this one. Email can go this one. Phone number goes here. Email goes there. Uh, this one is going to say age. Oh, I'm missing a couple actually. This one is going to say zero years, but I'm going to give this one a name because I'm going to change it programmatically later. So label age. My buttons. Button is going to one is going to be for new, and button two is going to be for save existing. Uh, but I also need to change the text on those. So. Uh, save new button and save whoop, existing. Now I noticed I was missing a couple of fields. Right, I'll select my panel, get my label, drop it in where I want. Whoop, wrong one, that's the text area. Right, it's got a large multi line text, so I just want text field. It can go there. Uh, so this label is just going to say date of birth and then this text field will be for text date of birth and I think that is my program so if I just uh, save is there a save I just did Command S or Control S on Windows. Uh, and if we take a look at our screen Java, we see that we've got a bunch of objects that are being declared in the instance of my screen class, and we've imported the JavaX Swing library. All right, so I've got my screen. Next video, we're going to start uh, doing some programming with it. All right, thank you. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing off.